बिखर जाए बाबा तुझसे जुड़ी हुई है बाबा तुझसे जुड़ी हुई है श्वासों की हरता हम जाने प्रभु या तुम जानो हम जाने हमें तुमसे है कितना प्यार तुम ही जिगर में तुम ही नजर में तुम ही जिगर में तुम ही नजर में ओ तुम ही मेरा संसार हम जाने Om Shanti and good morning. So as the song said, either we know or Baba himself knows that how much we love him. And today's Murli also talks about love and liberation how we can be immersed in love and then in turn liberate ourselves and also become the master bestowers of liberation. This Murli is dated 18th of Jan, 2007. Quest Ami Bhin to just bring that up on the screen. The title of the Murli is uh, Now Liberate Yourself. Become a master bestower of liberation and become an instrument to liberate everyone. Today, Pap Dada, the ocean of love, is looking at all the loving children everywhere because it is the Remembrance Day. So Baba is looking at all his loving children everywhere. He is pleased to see two types of children. One are the children who are merged in love, which we call lovely. And the others are children who are lovely. So see, Baba finds everybody lovely. One is the children who are merged in his love and the others who are lovely. The waves of love of both types of children were reaching Bab Dada even before Amrit Vela. So those children who are merged in love, you know, when you're merged in love with someone, then you become one, then you're not different from the other person or the other soul because you're merged in their love. So there are some children who are merged in Baba's love. And then there are some children who are lovely. So they are also sending their love to Baba. But there is a margin. Some are merged in love and some are not merged in love, but are loving and sharing that love with Baba. So there's a difference. And Baba gets to know. In every child's heart, the song, My Baba, was playing automatically. Everybody remembers Baba on this day. The same song was playing, playing in Bab Dada's heart. My children, my beloved children, the children who are the crown on Bab Dada's head. You know? Just try to imagine how Bab Dada would be looking at us. Each and every child, he 
keep singing that song my children my beloved children you know like when we have small children in the house they don't know but we keep looking at them with immense love right that uh, oh this is my child that child is engrossed in whatever that child is doing but still we will keep giving them that love that's how baba looks us looks at us children as well we might be engrossed in whatever but he keeps looking at us with that love today because of the remembrance day there were greater waves of love in everyone's mind baba could feel that the garlands of the pearls of love of the many children were being garlanded around bab dada's neck in chafas showering our love on bab dada and it goes into his neck as a garland the father was also putting the garland of his loving arms around his children you are all merged in the unlimited arms of unlimited bab dada can we all feel that that we are merged in the unlimited arms of unlimited bab dada when you're in the arms of your parent there's nothing that bothers you right you feel safe today everyone has especially reached here in the flying vehicle of love and from far far away too children have reached here in their avyak form in their angelic form with the flying vehicle of their mind okay so which vehicle we've come with not the saka vehicles that baba is talking about one the vehicle of love right love is a vehicle if you love someone wherever they go you know with your love you can reach out to them any anywhere they are and similarly with the we also have the power or the vehicle of the mind which is our avyak form right we are able to reach out to baba so vehicle of love and vehicle of mind today bab dada is giving all the children multifold remembrance for the day of remembrance and so the day of power baba is also giving his love and he says that the day of remembrance is also the day of power and baba will tell how this day reminds you of so many types of awareness or memories and each type of awareness makes you powerful in a second so you remember there are lots of memories that come up in our minds when on the remembrance day when we remember baba in a special way right what are those memories the list of memories comes into your awareness in a second does it not as soon as that awareness comes in front of you you have the intoxication of being powerful do you remember the first form of awareness you know baba is reminding us when we first time came to baba what was that awareness the first form of awareness that we got when you belonged to the father what awareness did he remind you of when we became baba's child what was the awareness the first awareness that baba reminded us of that you are a fortunate soul of the previous cycle baba calls us bhagyashali atmai you were such fortunate souls of the previous cycle immerse yourself for one minute in this thought that i am a fortunate soul of the previous cycle and all further cycles i am a fortunate soul i am the chosen one this is the first awareness that baba gives us which baba also calls kotome koi do you remember what transformation took place with this first form of awareness 
by being soul conscious. So Baba's, Baba's reminding us, do we remember when we got to know that I am that fortunate soul of the previous cycle and I have come here again? It gives us so much intoxication, right? The first form of awareness and what transformation took place in me? Just, just go back in time when we, we remembered, Baba reminded us that we are fortunate souls of the previous cycle. The transformation that took place within us, just think about that. The first transformation would have been of immense joy, immense happiness. And then the further transformation, that I can't make mistakes. I am a fortunate soul. Nothing can go wrong with me. By being soul conscious, you become intoxicated with the love of the God, God the Father. So when we become soul conscious, the first awareness that Baba gives us that you are a soul and you're not the body. The first intoxication that comes when we remember ourselves as a soul is the love of the Father. Why? Because only when we are soul conscious can we connect with the Supreme Soul, with that love and that intoxication. Why were you intoxicated? Why did we get, feel intoxicated when we came to Baba and when he told us that we are a soul, a fortunate soul? And that soul consciousness came into being. The reason, Baba says, what were the first words of love that emerged from your heart? My sweet Baba. And what was the intoxication you had when these golden words emerged? By saying, knowing and accepting. My Baba, all the godly attainments become your attainments. See, this is such an important line. Baba says, by saying, knowing, and accepting. And this is the difference between the Gyan Mark and the Bhakti Mark. Because in Bhakti Mark, why we don't get all these attainments? Because we are just saying. But in Gyan Mark, we say just not because we, we need to say it. We know and we accept my Baba. We accept and we create a relationship with God. A relationship of all relationships and all closeness. So knowing, accepting, and then saying. And when we do that, we actually experience all the godly attainments as our own attainments. Whatever is Baba's becomes ours. You have this experience, have you not? I'm sure all of us have this experience of saying, knowing and accepting Baba as my, my Baba. By saying, my Baba, so many attainments become yours. So today, what we will do is we will write down the attainments. When we said, my Baba, the first time, what were the attainments that I felt? Attainments of Sangam Yuga, attainments of future, of Satyu, attainments of Dwapa Yuga and Kalyu. So we will write that down. By saying, my Baba, so many attainments became yours. Where there is attainment, you don't need to make effort for remembrance. Suppose we are, we are going to get a big, big uh, attainment from someone, you know, which we were not aware. But suddenly we get to know that that person is going to give me an attainment. So we will not, even if we try, we will not be able to forget him or her, right? 
So that's how when you when there is attainment, you don't need to make an effort for remembrance, but there is automatic and easy remembrance since that attainment is yours. The father's treasures become your treasures. That's why he's called Bhulanath. You just say, my Baba, and he showers everything he has on you. So the key to Baba's attainments is my Baba. But that my Baba has to come by saying, knowing, and accepting. Then, then only the attainments will come. So father's treasure treasures become your treasures. Where you have the consciousness of mine, you don't have to make effort to remember. Hmm? Imagine the love between a mother and a child, right? The child knows this is my mother. So that child doesn't have to remember the mother, but he cannot forget the mother. You know, he doesn't even want to go to school because he doesn't want to leave his mother, right? That's the level of love. When, when we say the consciousness of mine, Baba is mine. He's my mother. He's my father. So where you have the consciousness of mine, you don't have to make the effort to remember. There is a natural remembrance. Something that is mine is difficult to forget, not difficult to remember. You have the experience that the body belongs to you. So are you able to forget it? Hmm? Do we forget, oh, whose body is this? No, it's mine. How can I forget that this is my body? In a similar way, Baba expects us to remember him. But rather than remembering, he expects us never to forget him. But that comes only when we stay in that consciousness. So are you able to forget it? You have to make effort to forget it. Why? It is mine. Huh? Just, just think uh, about, suppose you lose your cell phone, right? It's a very simple, small thing, cell phone. If I lose it, I won't be able to do anything. I'll keep remembering it was my cell phone. Where did I keep it? Where did I keep it? My cell phone, you know? So you cannot, you have to make effort to forget what is yours. So where there is consciousness of mind, remembrance is very easy. So it's just a simple thing. My Baba. So your awareness made you into a powerful soul. And we become powerful. We feel liberated when we say my Baba. Because when we say my Baba, everything that Baba has becomes ours. We get so many attainments. And when you get the attainments, when you don't need anything from anyone, then you become all powerful. The one phrase, my Baba did this. You made the bestower of fortune, the bestower of limitless treasures belong to you. So in the north of India, the people many times when they need to get some work done, they always keep saying, you know, who is my father? You know, whom I know? And all of us, who is our father? The bestower of fortune, the bestower of limitless treasures. It's such a powerful feeling. And a feeling of pride, a feeling of joy. So you are the children who perform such wonders, are you not? What wonders? By saying my Baba, getting all the attainments that Baba has and making ourselves into powerful souls. You have claimed a right to sustenance from God. This direct sustenance from God is only received once in the whole cycle. So, so lucky we are that in Sangam you, once in a, people talk, call once in a lifetime, you know, opportunity. 
And this is once in 5,000 years, once in the whole cycle opportunity. And that too, not everybody gets. You know? Sangam Yuk, when we get sustenance from God himself. You receive sustenance from souls and deity souls all the time. But sustenance from God is received only from only for one birth. So we get sustenance from deity souls in the Satyog and the Treta Yog. We become children of deities. And then in Dwapur and Kalyo, we get sustenance from other souls, normal souls, human souls. But in Sangam Yog, we get sustenance from the Supreme Soul, God Himself. And that's only for one birth. So on this day of remembrance, and so the day of power, there was easily the intoxication and happiness of God's sustenance. Was there not? Hmm? On this day, we go back and remember all our relationships with Baba, all that he has given us, all the attainments, all the powers that he has bestowed on us. And then we become intoxicated in love and happiness. Because today the atmosphere was of easy remembrance. So on this day, did you remain an easy yogi? Or did you have to battle to have remembrance on this day too? I was asking the children. Because today is, the, is said to be the day of love. Is it not? So love makes you finish making effort. Where there is love, there cannot be effort. Love makes everything so easy. So when you love something, that the love for that thing, you can go to any extent. You don't even feel that effort. Love makes you intoxicated. So on this day, did you especially remain an easy yogi or were there any difficulties? Those who failed, faced difficulties on this day, raise your hands. No one had any difficulties. All of you remained easy yogis. Acha. Those who remained easy yogis, raise your hands. Acha, all of you remained easy yogis. Baba loves uh, when, it, when children raise their hands. So he keeps doing that every in every morning. Raise your hand. All of you remained easy yogis. Today, you bade farewell to Maya. And because we were easy yogis, so we were able to bid farewell to Maya. Did Maya not come today? Did you bid farewell to Maya for today? Okay, you bade farewell to, for today. Congratulations for that. So as Baba keeps saying, where there is easy remembrance, Maya cannot come there. They can either be Baba or Maya. Both of them cannot be together. So if you remain merged in remembrance in the same way, <clears throat> then you will have Bid farewell to Maya for all time. Because the 70 years are being completed. Okay, so in 2009, 70 years of Baba's becoming Avyakt would have been completed. So Baba is saying 70 years have been completed. So now it's high time you should bid farewell to Maya. And how you bid farewell to Maya? By remaining merged in the remembrance. The way you were merged in remembrance today. Baba Singh, can you do that every single day so that you're able to bid farewell to Maya forever? So Bab Dada wants to celebrate this year as the unique year. The year of being loving to all. The year that is free from effort and the year that is free from problems. So Baba says, you get so much love from me that you become loving for, for all. That's what Baba expects us to do. And through that, we become free from any effort and free from 
all the problems. When you become free from effort, you also become free from problems. Do all of you like this? Huh? So this unique year, becoming free from effort and becoming free from problems. Do all of you like this? Do you? Will you celebrate the year of liberation? You want to go to the land of liberation. So you have to enable the many peaceless souls who are experiencing sorrow to receive liberation by becoming companions of the Father, the bestower of liberation. It's such a big task. The task that we have at hand, all of us Baba's children, is to enable many peaceless souls who are experiencing sorrow to be able to receive liberation. To receive liberation in their, this birth and to receive Behad uh, liberation by taking them along to the world of liberation. That's Param Dham, Mukti Dham. Right? And how can we enable them to be liberated in this birth? by giving them good wishes and good feelings and loving them, giving them unconditional love. We can feel them, make them feel liberated. And what we need to do for that is to become the companions of Father, the bestower of liberation. When you become a companion of the Father, Automatically, wherever you go, you keep spreading the love of the father, the, the, all the features of the father. That's why he says, you become my companion, the best tour of liberation's companion, and automatically you will be able to bestow liberation on all the other souls. That's our task. Only when you master best tours of liberation Become free yourself. Will you be able to celebrate the year of liberation? Huh? Baba says that you have to liberate other souls who are feeling sorrow. But if you have feelings of sorrow still in your minds, how will you do that? So first, liberate yourself. Your master bestowers of liberation. So first, liberate yourself and then become Bestowers of liberation, master bestowers of liberation. You Brahmin souls are yourselves instruments to become free and give liberation to many others. So just check, am I still in the process of liberating myself or have I started liberating others around me? my relations, my contacts, my acquaintances, do they feel liberated when they come in contact with me? Whenever they go after meeting me, is there something that they go along with? Do they feel full? And you will get your answer. So Baba says, your efforts are not just for yourself, but for all the other souls. One type of language that ties you in bondage instead of making you free, that makes you dependent on problems is, it is not like this, it is like that. It is not like that, it is like this. So Baba says this language, it is not like this, it is like that. This is a language of excuses. No, no, Baba, it's not like this. I am, I, I, can wake up early in the morning, but yesterday I slept late, so I could not wake up. It's not like this. It's not this. It's that. This, this is a language of excuses. And Baba always says this is a language of a weak soul. So instead of making you free, it makes you dependent. So you become dependent on something. If that is not there, I won't be able to make effort. So it's not like this, it is like that. When problems come, you say, Baba, 
it was not like this it was like that otherwise it wouldn't have come have been like that uh, so you are dependent on something happening so that you can make the effort Baba says, these are the games of making excuses. Our effort should be no matter what. No matter what, I am an effort maker. I am a powerful soul and I will make the effort no matter what. So these excuses start within us first. You know, whenever a weakness comes in, whenever Maya peeps in or creeps in, it comes in our thoughts first. You know, when it's time for Amrit Vela, five minutes more. But I slept only at 12 yesterday. I couldn't sleep early. Let me just lie down and do my Amrit Vela. I'm not feeling well. You know, so that's how Maya starts creeping in. And then we start making excuses. So as soon as these, these thought, thoughts start coming in, the maya creeps in, we have to change that to a determined thought. That's what Baba expects us to do. Bab Dada has seen everyone's fire. So what did he see in the fire? For the majority, the fire was full of paper on which promises were written. We all, when we might have gone to Madhuban, we might have given one or the other promise to Baba. That Baba, I will never do this. And Baba, I will always do this from now on every day. So promises. So these are all papers that keep adding up in our file. That's what Baba is saying. At the time of making a promise, you make it with your heart. You even think about it. But up to now, it has been seen that the file is continuing to become bigger and bigger. And it has not become final. Hmm? We keep making promises. For a firm promise, it has been said, even if you have to die, you will not break the promise. Hmm? In Hindi, they say, pran jai par vachan na jai. Commitment. So today, Bab Dada saw everyone's fire. You have all made many many very good promises. You have made them in your mind and also written them down. So what will you do this year? Will you increase your file or will you make the promise final? Hmm? What will you do? Baba is expecting us to make our promises final, powerful and determined thought. Those sitting in the front line, Pandavas, you speak and teachers speak. This year, will you make the file that is getting bigger with Bab Dada final? Or will you add another paper this year too? What will you do? Speak, Pandavas. Will you make it final? Those who feel that even if you have to bow down, if you have to change, if you have to tolerate or listen to other things that you have to change, raise your hands. It's not easy to fulfill promises, especially the ones that we make to Baba. Baba says when you make a promise, Maya is always watching. And her task is to make sure that you break that promise. And your task is to make sure that you never break that promise and you you change for good and change forever. Even if you have to tolerate or you have to listen to things, but you change. Look, record everyone's picture on the TV. Hmm? Baba wants everyone because everybody would be raising hands. So Baba says, you look and record everyone's picture on the TV. Take everyone's photo. There are two, three, four TV cameras Take a photo from all sides and keep its record. Take this photo and give it to the father. Where is the TV person? Uh, you know, sometimes Baba becomes very sweet and entertaining also. So Bab Tata should also take benefit from this file. Congratulations. 
congratulations you may applaud yourselves huh? so baba just enthused his children completely look on one side there is science on the other side there is corruption on the other side there is sin and all of these are continuing to grow in their own way and baba is asking us to look around us how the world has shaped up there's signs there's growing corruption and there's growing sin everywhere many new plans are continually being made now uh, we children also keep making plans for seva but you are the children of the creator you are the children of the world creator so this year adopt an instrument of such newness that your promise becomes firm because everyone wants revelation to take place see we don't feel that because we have become babas but the other souls they feel that corruption that sin all around and they don't know what's going to happen in the future so they want this revelation to happen okay so to make our promises firm we have to bring about some newness the way we have been making the effort the same way we cannot continue making those efforts with time coming close our promises need need to become firm we need to keep changing and that will happen only when we bring about newness in the way we make our efforts that is what baba is saying so much expense is being incurred big big pro programs are being held in many places each professional wing is working very well but now this year make this addition whatever service you do for instance you may be doing verbal service but don't let it just be service through your mouth but let there be service through your thoughts words and deeds with love and cooperation let all three types of service take place at the same time so thoughts words and actions deeds all we need to do when we are doing service through mouth is at the same time our thoughts words and actions should be filled with love and cooperation that's the only service baba wants but not just by words and actions but at the thought level as, as well and that's the difficult part they should not be separate okay so and this is what baba calls when he says um you know clean heart when he says clean heart or clean mind he's talking about our thoughts being clean the thoughts words and actions being the same 100% transparency and thoughts words and actions being full of love and cooperation in the outside world these are different somebody might be showing love and cooperation but they are not feeling that love and cooperation for you or their words they might feel love and cooperation but their words will will be very harsh or rude and they will say this is how i am right so thoughts words and actions should be different they uh, should be the same in the world they are different but they should be the same and they should be filled with love and cooperation they should not be separate baba says bab dada sees that in one type of service there isn't the result that there should be hmm? so it's time for us to check if if we are not being able to get the result of the service that we are doing maybe we are trying to get somebody to become baba's child but we are not being able to get success right or with someone we are trying to be cooperative we are trying to help them we are trying to help them see the good but we are not being able to do that so that's the time when we need to check whether my thoughts words and actions are filled with love and cooperation all at the same time 
You also want revolution to take place. And so far, this result has been good. It has been very good result compared to earlier. Everyone who attends goes away saying, this is good, this is good, it's very good. So whoever comes to our programs, to our centers, to our retreat centers, they always go back saying that this is really good. However, to become good means for a revolution to take place. So for them to become good. So right now Baba is saying they come, they say it's good, but they go back. For them to become good or want to become good, revolution needs to take place. So now make this addition that at the same time, you have to be loving and cooperating in your thoughts, deeds, and words underline. So today, we will check, keep a check whether all my thoughts, words, and actions, one, are the same, and second, are filled with love and cooperation. Give this to every companion, whether it's a Brahmin soul companion or an outsider who is an instrument of service. To give love and cooperation means to claim number one in the service through deeds. Not speak the language, this happened like this and this is why I had to do like that. No. Instead of giving love, you sometimes have other things to say and Baba is not using those words, yeah? So, so instead of giving love to others, we also have some other things that we say to them. Baba does not want to use those words. I have to do this, I have to say this, I have to consider all these things. You know, especially the souls, the non samarpit souls who are working, or who have children at home, or uh, you know, are, are managing relationship. They always keep saying, Brahmin souls, that uh, you know, we have to get angry. We have to say these things. Otherwise, nobody will listen. So Baba says, no. Let it not be like that. For so many years, it has been seen. Bab Dada has allowed this to happen. But for how much longer will it continue to be? Not like this, but like that. In their heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Bab Dada, the majority say, Baba, when will you open the curtain finally? For how much longer will this continue? Many times we have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Baba. We ask him, Baba, when will the curtain finally open? When will destruction happen? How much longer do I have to take this? Babdada is asking you for how much longer this old language, this old ways of carelessness and bitterness. See, Baba never likes his children to be bitter. But sometimes in our day-to-day, -day, we tend to get bitter. So Babdada also has a question. How much longer? If you reply, then Bab Dada will also reply about when destruction will take place. Bab Dada could open the curtain of destruction even now. He just has to make one thought and that, that can happen at this second. But first, those who are going to rule there should be ready. So only when you make preparations for now, will you bring completion close. In, in terms of any weaknesses, do not make any excuses or give reasons. Just find a solution. You say, because of this reason, Pap Dada watches the games of the children throughout the day. He has love for your children. And so he repeatedly continues to watch these games. He knows we are going wrong, but still because of his love for us, he continues to watch. Pap Dada's TV, is very big. The world can be seen on it at the same moment. The children from everywhere can be seen, whether it's America or it's Gurgaon. Everything is visible. So Bab Dada sees many games. 
The language of putting off is very good. This was the reason, Baba. It wasn't my mistake. That one did that. Okay, that one did it. But did you find a solution? Did you let the excuse remain an excuse or did you change the excuse into a solution? And so Baba says, did you try to convert the problem into a solution? Or did you just give in, give in to the problem? So today we'll stop here. And tomorrow we will pick up from yeah, the solution. Okay. So it was a very, very beautiful, loving, simple murli that Baba said. He entertained also and he gave some teachings as well. So would somebody want to share the journeys from today? We will just keep a two minute silence, just one minute, and then we will go for the journey. Okay, so does anyone want to share something in their journey, in their thoughts? Which vehicle did Baba talk about when he said you have all come in two kinds of vehicles? What vehicles were Baba, was Baba talking about? Vehicle of love and the vehicle of mind. Yes. There are two vehicles, very nice. The vehicle of love and the vehicle of mind. And then Baba also spoke about the specialization of love. What does love make? What does love finish for us? So where there is love, what cannot be there? Baba also talk, spoke about that. Any thoughts on that? There is no effort, no labor. Exactly. Yeah. So where there is love, there is no labor. So the easiest way of making effort and progressing, or which Baba calls Tivra Purushat, is to be always be intoxicated in love because that makes everything easy. Hmm. What else? What did Baba say hmm. else? Yes, please. Um, Om Shanti. Today, Baba no, said no. us to, to check our, if we are not getting results from this our service, then we have to check whether our thoughts, words, and actions are in synchronization. If we are, uh, if we check on these factors, then we can, we may get the results. Om Shanti. Yes, and Baba also said very nice. Baba also said thoughts, words, and actions should be full of. It should be the same. And it should love be full of love and cooperation. Love and cooperation. Very nice. So whenever today, and this is our homework for today also, when we come in contact with other souls, keep checking yourself whether my thoughts, words, and actions are the same. And are they full of love and cooperation at all times, no matter what? Okay, this is not only when we are doing seva, no. In fact, all of us, we have more chances because we come in contact with so many other souls, right? Every minute of mine, I am on seva. I am on the job. So I have to keep checking myself at home, at work, outside, in a shop, everything. What else? What what intoxication did Baba talk about? Om Shanti. Uh, the intoxication that Baba spoke about maximum was when you say my sweet Baba, 
And when you experience that joy and feeling of that deep connection from within, that is the intoxication of love, where there's no separation now. You are like the Father. Om Shanti. Absolutely. Very nice. So, and Baba also went deeper into this concept. And he said, when you become one, then whatever is that of the other becomes yours. So when we say my sweet Baba, then all his attainments also, they automatically become ours. And our worldview um, changes, you know. Suddenly there's a royalty, suddenly there's a, a patience that comes in and the power, right? So we become powerful souls. So this is also something that we should do today. We should go back and remember our early days when we became Babas, how intoxicated we used to be always, right? And no effort we used to feel. At that time, I used to think, why everybody is making so much effort? There is no effort in being Baba's child. But slowly and steadily, that intoxication starts going away. So we have to start, try and be in that intoxication always. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And how can we become masters of uh, liberation, master bestowers of liberation? What do we need to do for that? We need to enable uh, many peaceless souls who are experiencing sorrow to receive li liberations and by becoming companions of the Father. Very nice. Very good. Yes. By becoming companions of the Father, we have to liberate the other souls in this birth and we have to take them to the land of liberation. So be in that consciousness that all these souls, they are waiting for me, right? Anyone else? Else we will go for the meditation. Om Shanti, sister. Om Shanti, Baba. Om Shanti, everyone. Baba today said he's seeing uh, the files of promise that children have made. And Baba says these promises have been made heartily. And he says about firm promises. And that takes me to the experiences in the logic world. It makes uh, so much of an impact on the other person. Be it a child, like when a father says, I'll get something for you from office. The child keeps a hope upon it. The promise is if broken, the child gets really hurt. Mm -hmm. And it has so much of anticipation. I mean, promises are of that value. Uh, exactly. Even in logic world, people do make promises and if they're not kept up, uh, the, the relationship can go heavy. So Baba is seeing our promises of becoming Sampoon. So uh, it is again a remembrance and remind to me that promises needs to be firmly continued. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing this. A very good thought. When we break promises, we end up, you know, scarring the relationship. Though Baba doesn't keep anything on his heart, but his expectations are that we should keep firm promises. Yes, very true. Okay, anyone else? So oh, we'll oh, move. Shanti. Yes, oh, Shanti. Uh, Baba says, be a made bestower of fortune belong to us. So the limitless treasure also belongs to us. So Baba says, uh, we are claiming a right of uh, the sustenance of God. Uh, only at this birth, the, in the whole cycle, we are uh, able to receive the direct sustenance from God. So uh, even uh, uh, the souls um, uh, the uh, during the other time, we don't receive the sustenance. It is only at this cycle, the uh, this time of the whole cycle, we receive uh, the sustenance. So it is, uh, we are such a fortunate soul. Om Shanti. Very nice. Yes, Baba said this, and this feeling is so such a such an intoxicating feeling, right? 
and baba also said yes and baba also said that when you say my baba you say it by knowing and accepting that he is my baba right and that is when all his attainments become yours and that is when you get sustenance from god himself so it's such a fortunate thing for all of us right great okay let's just reflect on this morally in silence go back inside first of all look at yourself me the fortunate powerful master best of all me the fortunate soul whose success is guaranteed god himself guarantees my success all that i could ever want i already have all of god's attainments are my own because god himself has become mine he calls me his child he's giving me his sustenance he's waiting for me only me to liberate other souls from their sorrows he has made me his companion he ignores all my shortcomings and only looks at me from a loving eye of the mother no matter what i do all he has is love for me this sangam yuk each and every second is so valuable i can never thank my father enough for coming and making me his om shanti om shanti request all of you to stay there is a small announcement for this sunday i shall share the flyer on this sunday that is 13th february we have a session by dr manoj matnani the topic of the session is love well in time this valentine so we invite all the divine souls and other souls 
to join this session on 13th of February. Thank you. Thank you, Shivani Ben. Thank you, all of you, and see you tomorrow at 5 30. Have a good day. Thank you, sister. Have a nice day. Thank you to all.